everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am trying to get into part two of this video finally, but it's just been such a craziness. Like I've tried to refilm this part two multiple times and then there's always something that comes up where I'm like, oh, it, this thing was off or oh, I just got like this new plant and I wanna make sure it's in there because this is my very first Anthurium. <laughs> And I don't know, it's just like, there's always something that comes up. So finally, I want to present to you guys part two of my houseplant tour. And I really hope you guys enjoy. So let's get right into it. The long awaited plant tour part two. I know it's been a hot minute and I need to get this done. And I'm tired of cleaning and recleaning this room. So I'm just gonna get it done. There's a few new plants, so I may need to review their names, but I will go over everybody that's in here. I know I sound like a crazy person saying all their nicknames, but guys, that's really how I refer to them. So I'm so sorry I sound like a crazy person, but it does help me keep better track of my plants and it's kind of fun. So, you know, I'm gonna stick with it just cause I did it for the first video, but I swear I'm not that crazy. I just think it's fun to give them little names. So anyways, we'll go ahead and start over here. So this is kind of the first little table. And you can see here that we have a few fun um, ficus and some Sansevieria. Okay, so I do like to name some plants after Pokemon. So here we have Cherubi. And then we have uh, Vulpix, beautiful Vulpix. Vulpix is seeming kind of sad. You can see some weird brown on it. So if you have any suggestions on why that's happening, please let me know. Back here we have Viper, obviously because it's a snake plant. And I actually combined two plants to make this big one. Super happy, love this one so much. And then back here, I have two Mandrula. I have Jewel, and then I have Andrew. So this is Jewel right here. This is Andrew. I literally got Andrew from Walmart for $2. Guys, that was an amazing moment. So happy. Ah! Also want to share some more of my beautiful art here. I got a couple of these cool prints for $10 off of Amazon. So go check them out, they're beautiful. They look like someone hand painted those. So I really like those a lot, beautiful. All right, you're about to learn my love for Calathea right here, guys. There is so many different Calathea varieties. I love, love, love how they look. They are just beautiful with their stunning foliage, so I'm going to show you all of those guys today. So first over here, one of my first plants that I transferred to Lekka is Rayella. And I have a few different of these kinds as Weston's grandma gave those to me. So yeah, if you see a few of those, that's why. And they're pretty special to me. So I really like those. And then back here we have Thea. She was doing so good. And now she has some uh, of these yellow leaves. And I'm not quite sure why, but she is quite stunning and beautiful. Back here we have Cal, and found Cal at a grocery store. This leaf has just like never unfurled, but you can see it's pretty huge, but most of the other leaves that have come in have been um, pretty small, but this one is just a stunner. No, like, <laughs> no browning. Ugh, love that one. And then this is Suicune, my very first Anthurium. And uh, she's okay. I'm getting used to her, trying to figure out what she needs. I need to clean her leaves, obviously. But yeah, she is cute. And I've never had one, never really been interested, but I thought I'd give one a try. It's cute. It's an Anthurium. We'll see how that goes. Back here is my prized possession. This... Yes, guys, this is an Aglaonema Pictum tricolor. Ah! <laughs> um, it did have a leaf that kind of shriveled and died down here, and I haven't quite pulled it off yet because I just 
want to be so careful with it. I left it in the same packaging that it arrived in and I just tried to keep it moist and yeah, this is, oh, look at that, just beautiful. Anyways, that's Pictum. And then we have a few cuttings down here. This is Estrella. I've been having a hard time with her um, just because I got this new uh, humidifier and it obviously keeps them a lot more moist than what I was used to. So uh, you can see right now, I had it running for a couple hours and right now it's at 60%. And before I'd say it was probably between 40 to 50. So yeah, I've been having troubles like not overwatering these guys. And obviously you can see I'm still getting used to that. So she looks pretty sad, but I'm hoping she can hang in there and start growing some new growth. I don't see any yet, so fingers crossed there. And then back here I have, wow, a sad looking leaf that I chopped. It had a, a little baby coming in the back here, but it's not looking so good. So there's that. And then in the front here, we have Freddy, uh, one of the other plants I transferred to Lekka. It's been going pretty well. Um, Freddy seems pretty happy. There are a couple of leaves in here, but that is to be expected when you are transferring the plant um, completely out of soil to a different medium. And so that's what's kind of happening with that. Now, I'm sorry if these bottom ones are gonna be a little bit hard to see my camera doesn't pick up very well in lower light so we'll just do our best i'll pull any out if i need to but i'm just going to show you guys these ones quick so over here we have melvin and like i said i'll just pull them out i believe it might be an asparagus fern i'm not really sure ferns are just not very fun for me <laughs> um and then Back here, I have this one I actually got from another uh, little garden store and they were selling it as a uh, plant for the ground, which my the place I live is a zone 4B and this would, this is obviously going to be treated as an annual, but I got a little rattlesnake calathea, ah, so cute. Um, I don't really know what they consider this, but anyways, this is a bee do. And then back here is my little sad fern. <laughs> At this point, it doesn't really matter what his name is, but, um, yeah, cause he's probably going to die. But <laughs> anyways, um, oh gosh, what is his name? I can't remember at this moment, but I'll put it on the screen for you guys. And then here we have, I know guys, a begonia maculata. I also got that at the garden store as a annual plant. And uh, her name is Nia. And then I have this cutie pie. Getting a little bit of uh, yellowing on the leaves. And I think that's because it stays pretty humid inside of this um, table, which I really like this table. I also got this off of Amazon, um, but it does make it more difficult to figure out the uh, watering schedule for plants that you typically know the watering schedule for. So anyways, this is Ciroc. If you watch Westworld, you'll know who that is. And then over here, we have some more cutie pies. So this one, uh, this is like the little uh, humidifier I use, but it's just like a um, aromatherapy type of thing. So there's that. And then this is Delos. I kind of got this on a whim. Didn't know it was gonna be this small, but man, it's pretty dang cute. I It's a little phallic looking but I really like it. I think it's really cute. Um, okay, so we have a few in here. We just have a couple more. So this is Khaleesi. Yeah, I know, Game of Thrones. <laughs> and then back here, this is my first one that I actually got. This is Bella. Oh my gosh. 
I know I told you my camera's terrible in low light, but anyways, you can kind of see that. And I don't like taking this one in and out because it kind of ruins the leaves there. But anyways, she is a cutie here. Got this one from uh, Gabriella Plants. This is Corsola. I love that like black color around the pink. It's just stunning. I don't know why my hand's shaking so much, so sorry about that, but there you go. So we'll put those guys back. And then um, I just decorated this with some different rocks. So that's kind of fun. And I do have two humidifiers in here. I have that one in the back of this table. And then I have the one sitting right next to or right in front of um, my prized possession there. So yeah. And then I said I have my little Ella Combs humidifier. Works great, except for when you have to refill it. That's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. But I've been super happy. And then here we have Sarah. Sarah is a big Monstera. I always wanted a huge Monstera and now I have one and my heart's complete. <laughs> um, I actually got it to hopefully propagate and sell, but I haven't been very successful in the propagating part. So right now she's just kind of chilling and being beautiful. And then down here we have Mark's I've cut off a lot of marks already and sold a bunch of um, the cuttings from it. So you can see here. Oh, I love these ones because it makes me just think of like a dragon and it's so cool. And some of these leaves are so big. Like here's my hand in comparison. Crazy. Okay, now we're going to get into some fun ones that I have wanted for a while. And I'm so happy that are in my collection now. So the first one is my Sabu Blue. Oh, love my Sabu Blue. So beautiful. Um, what, your, what is your name? I have a hard time remembering some of these new guys' names. Okay, anyways. This is my Sabu Blue so incredibly beautiful and has this long trailing piece on the front here and then next to that is eon um, another one that i got to sell later but obviously that hasn't quite happened yet so there's that and then um this was one of my uh, cuttings from marks that just didn't end up doing very well, so it's just kind of hanging in there. And then this is Snowy. I found Snowy the same time that I found um, that I found um, my Mandula Pothos. So I don't know. I like Aglionema, and I thought this one was pretty. So there she is. And then coming around to this side, we have Aurorus, and I know Silta Pagan. She's so, oh, I'm just in love with these leaves. And then it does kind of trail off the front here. So, so beautiful. Over here, I have a, I have Malaga um, and Bondi. And together I call these my little fairies, fairy plants. This is Wolf because I called him my lone wolf because he was the one sitting in the office for a while. And yeah, there's that. And then back here, we just have a couple more. So again, this is that south facing window similar to um, the last video. I'll just show you this sad one. <laughs> um, used to be a, um, this used to be an alocasia fry deck. I obviously did not know its care needs, so I'm wondering if the stump will grow back, but we'll have to see. And then back here we have Leafeon. She is like, just has these crazy big leaves. And yeah, I really like this one a lot. She's beautiful, a little hanging plant there. And then the last one in this room is my beautiful, beautiful 
Sonii, Adam Sonii. His name is Sonii, but yeah, this one is just gorgeous and yeah, so beautiful. Alrighty, let's go ahead and go to the basement for the last few plants. So over here we have Emerald, so cute. I just fell in love with this guy and ugh, look at those leaves, so amazing, beautiful. And then this is V. V actually fell down the other day and I did have to, um, you can see here, chop a bunch of the arms off because they just got all weird and yeah, it was really sad. This is heart for obvious reason. No, this is corazon, which is heart in Spanish. <laughs> Back here we have spot. Spot is so cute and I'm propagating a bunch of spot to put on my Etsy shop. So cute. This is Maria as its name indicates. And it starts to grow in this weird um, kind of shape here. It used to look really nice and now it's all kind of wonky. Um, I'll show you where I had it before. But yeah, it's just kind of growing really weird, but it's beautiful. And honestly, it's never given me any trouble. So other, other than now it has a couple of little yellow leaves and stuff, but I think that might be from the grow light I was using, which I'll show you in a minute. Back here is Hudson, my Aglaonema. So beautiful, love those leaves, gorgeous, gorgeous. Honestly, have not had an issue with any of my Aglaonema before, and I'm in love with them. Back here is Corduroy. Corduroy actually has two in there, but I just love how it kind of has this, like, I don't know, dual look. But each of them is a little bit different, too, so that's kind of cool. I may separate them at some point, but yeah. And then my cute little pot there from Walmart. And then this pot was from Home Depot, and this pot came in a set from uh, Amazon, so that was pretty good. And then lastly, we have Thiffy, such a weird name, but if you look at how Spathylophyllum is spelled, um, you can see why I named it Thiffy. Such a weird name, but yeah. This one has caused me a little bit of headache. I can't quite figure out its needs and all of that, but she has a new flower coming up, so it is what it is. Kind of cute. I don't think she's big enough for this pot, but I don't want to repot, so yeah. <laughs> and then we'll just spin around to my desk here. So this is where that, uh, where Maria was. She was actually right over here. So I had two plants on either side here. And this guy's name is Stahil. And I just have him in this really gorgeous matte black pot. And this cool little holder on my desk here. And then I just have a grow light since he's kind of far from any light. All right, lastly, I have this area. Again, please don't mind the window well. It's hard to keep those clean. I'm not really sure what to say about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have a couple of these guys under this grow light here, this kind of grow box, which is really cool. I really, really like it, and I'd like to get another one at some point because um, my plants just seem so happy, especially during the winter. So over here, we have ocean so beautiful and I'll occasionally move these guys around so that the um, Sansevieria can kind of get a little bit closer to the light but anyways here is Penelope looking super sad this is a Pilea don't know how to care for them and uh, I have a little <laughs> a little tea in there to uh, I was trying to hold this one up but obviously it didn't work very well Seems to be much happier when I don't water it as much, so I don't know. There's that, but yeah, it looks really disgusting and sad. <laughs> and then this is Ente. Um, both of these were actually free plants from our local garden center. Uh, we went to kind of this yoga event and we got two plants. So 
There's this guy. He didn't get very much water, and this light seems pretty bright that some of these are a little bit sad and burned. But I'm surprised. Like, he's hanging in there and has some really cool um, different leaves here. Um, he's a begonia, but I don't know what type. So if you know, let me know. <laughs> and then this is Demeter, my very first um, Syngonium. Obviously, this one is a splash and has a little bit of a burnt leaf. But yeah, another one that I'm really surprised is still hanging in there. So super happy about that. And then we have Violet, um, making me realize that I don't really like African Violets. But yeah, um, there's her. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is she didn't really start growing leaves until I put her under this grow light box thing. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm not so good about the watering and all of that, so you can see it looks kind of sad, but there's that. Here's the confession of uh, my plants, of what they truly look like. <laughs> and then here we have Hope, obviously because it's a Peperomia Hope, and um, I actually divided it and ended up selling most of it, so I just have this tiny little piece left in this little pot. And then lastly, this is Anna. Oh, Anna is a little bit dirty here. Um, but yeah, she's been pretty good to me. Had a little baby and uh, seems super happy. So that is all the basement plants. And I also got this from Amazon. So check it out if you're interested. Love you guys. Bye.